Several lessons ago, we created an Amplify environment called Dev. And in the last lesson, we used this Dev environment to create a staging deployment. Now, the downfall of using the same environment, both locally and in production, is that all of the data is going to be shared. So if you change something locally, it's going to be changed in production as well. Because of this, for our production build, we'll need to make an Amplify environment specifically for production. So to get started, let's head into our terminal and let's add in a new environment. So Amplify ENV add. Next up, it's going to ask us a couple of questions. Do we want to use an existing environment? No, we do not. We want to create a new one. This one's going to be called prod. Yes, we'll use an existing AWS profile and we'll use whatever one you created back in, I believe it was the first lesson where we initialized our Amplify configuration. Mine's called default. And now Amplify will queue new resources for our new environment so that all of the data persisted within is unique from our dev environment. It's also worth noting that this has moved our local environment from dev to prod. So now if we make any changes locally, it will affect the prod environment. To confirm this, we can run Amplify status. And you can see right here, our current environment is prod. So any changes that we make to Amplify while this is our current environment will affect prod. And the current status of our resources is that auth and API are set to be created. This will make it unique for our prod environment. And then hosting, there's no change since hosting can be shared across all environments. Okay, great. So these changes look good to me. So let's go ahead and Amplify push so that these resources are actually created up in the AWS console. It's gonna confirm with us that we wanna continue. Let's go ahead and hit yes. It's gonna ask us if we wanna update code for our GraphQL API, and let's go ahead and select no for this. We're gonna to want to locally work with the dev environment, so none of this will change throughout this process. And now Amplify is gonna run through and actually create those new resources for our prod environment. Okay, great, that completed successfully. So next up, let's go ahead and create a branch specifically for production builds within our Git repository. This is gonna allow us to test changes within our staging build prior to committing them to our production build. So let's go ahead and git checkout hyphen B prod. And then since we created new resources for our prod amplify environment, we're going to have a couple of changes to our Git repo. So let's go ahead and commit those as well. So git add dot to commit all of them, git commit m setting up prod amplify env. Okay, and then let's go ahead and push that new branch with those changes. So git push version prod. Finally, we need to go into the Amplify console and create a production build. Now, since we've already added hosting to our application with the dev environment, all we need to do is connect our new prod branch. To do this, let's open up our application in the Amplify console, which we can do by running Amplify console. I already have it here, open up here in the background, but just to show you how to get there. And then within the breadcrumbs, go back a step so that we actually go into the build options. Okay, and then with front end environment selected, go ahead and click connect branch. And then for our branch, make sure prod is selected. And then for our backend environment, go ahead and select prod as well. And then click next. All that looks good. So let's save and deploy. And so you can see here that we have two different environments for our front end, one called master and one called prod. The naming for this is just going off of the branch name. And if we dive into backend environments, you can see something similar going on as well. We have our dev environment and our prod environment. And these are the Amplify backend environments that we created. So while this is building out, we can go ahead and dive back into our terminal and switch our environments back to dev instead of prod. So for git, git and check out master. And then for amplify, it's amplify env check out dev. Okay, looks like that was successful, but we can confirm by running amplify status. And we can see current environment is now back to dev. So now we don't have to worry about anything going automatically to prod whenever we meant to test it in dev. Okay, great. So it looks like that both built and deployed successfully. So let's go ahead and pop it open. So there we go, we now have our production environment set up and it is now 100% data exclusive from our dev branch, which you can see here has a post. So now in the next lesson, we're gonna go over how to tie our stage and prod builds to a domain that we actually own so that we don't have to point directly to this amplifyapp.com URL.